Verbo del día número 41, haber, which means to have, but it's an auxiliary verb. It can also mean there is or there are or there was or there were. A hundred verbs, a hundred days, a hundred videos. All right, so haber, it gets a red chili pepper because it is irregular in a lot of different places, which means it doesn't follow the nice, neat rules. So in the present tense, we've got e, as, a. In the preterite, we've got uve, ubiste, uvo. In the present subjunctive, we've got aya, ayas, aya, right? And it goes on and on and on. And so what I need you to do is grab your verb book, go into the verb book, and look up haber. And a lot of times we're going to use haber as a perfect tense, haber plus a past participle. I'm going to use it in a sentence today where it means there were, as in there was or there were. All right, here's my sentence. De repente en el horizonte había veinte demanes, los empleados de Napoleón Bonapartite. So suddenly on the horizon there were twenty hiringses, the employees of Napoleon Bonapartite. Haber, the auxiliary verb to have, but it can also mean there is or there are, there was or there were. All right, write a sentence. Suerte.